Hello everyone, welcome to Profit Data. So today exactly I'm going to talk about uh, you know Allies Blue WebSocket data, okay, in Python. So you know uh, you know that uh, you know Allies Blue provides a free of cost API, okay, in which you can utilize to place your orders as well as this WebSocket data you can utilize for creating your own strategies, okay. So I'm going to show you what are the things contained in the WebSocket. And how you can utilize them okay so go for let's go for it so in this uh, you know if you go with this uh, feeds API you can see that there will be like uh, you know uh, many feed types will be there such as market data compact market data snap code for snap code okay so you know there is a different structures will be there okay which will uh, see it right now okay so if I must say if you don't have an account uh, in allies blue and if you want to get uh, free of cost API and till 31st March they are offering this free demat account so just fill the details just follow the link fill the details and just go for it and if you get any problem just let me know so I will help okay so until 31st March you will get a free demat account so do utilize okay so let's go for this thing so usually like uh, you know uh, you know I've been already shown you how you can um, you know uh, like you know get your access token okay so here you in these things what you have to do is you have to set your username password and access token so three important things are required and you can like you know subscribe those symbols and you can start the web socket so let's get started so what i'm going to do is like i'll just import this uh, you know allies blue okay the next uh, i'll go with uh, this you know dbm as i you know i've been done a video how you can utilize this dbm to manage your uh, login credentials so this is one of the best way to manage your credentials so it will be easy to call whatever username and password will be there okay so a database will be there a backup file will be there and directory will be there so from there you can call this and can utilize so i'm going to show you how i'm going to do so i i say them as a login database or ldb equals dbm dbm dot open and in this I just call the path where my you know allies DB is there I store them in a, as an uh, you know allies DB so I'm gonna call them so this is the path where I stored my credentials okay in this case i'm gonna just read okay so that's it done here and uh, you know as we know we de require username so all we have to say is ldb of username and we need to decode this stuff okay and same with this uh, you know we will uh, gonna do with our password and uh, here the websocket what i'm gonna utilize is i'm gonna um, you know make it easy for you okay so it won't be much hard so first we will go with the username then we will go with our password and then uh, you know exactly whatever access token i'm generating through an algorithm it is contained in a text folder so i just need to call that path so i will say open and then it is in same in this itself in allies and I have to say my access token format so if you are watching uh, my videos you know what I am doing here okay and if not please do visit my channel and watch this it will be helpful so username password i've been generated the access token and i got this stuff now i will authorize through allies each and everything and i'm call them as uh, allies equals allies blue and i set my username so it will be very much simple if you already set each and everything so anywhere you can call okay and if you follow the sequence you don't have to write too much code so go for this thing so whatever you want cash currency commodity futures and options you can go ahead 
and can name them. So, NSC, NFO, and IM6. So, I am going to just add two things. So, you will download the master contract and you can extract whatever you want. Otherwise, just keep it NSC and we see this through NSC itself. So, you can do as per your wish. So, I got the LIC. Okay. And now, let us call our WebSocket. So, it will be very much simple. All you have to do is like you have to say about this uh, event handler. So, you know I have been done a video on uh, WebStocks. So, same structure it got. Okay. Same syntax. Some of the things like uh, you know may vary but one and the same. So, event handler code update. So, uh, instead of message I say ticks. Okay. And I will try to print this text. So, you know before calling this stuff I will just wait in this section and I will go for it. Now, what I am going to do is like uh, you know I just go with the open callback. So, I need to define that. Okay. And this open callback, uh, you know, there is a, you know, there is a syntax and format is there which you need to fo uh, follow. So whatever, uh, you know, global, you need to call this global, uh, and you need to open them. Socket opened, and whenever uh, you know socket open, uh, should be true uh, when we are calling. Okay. So we say this way. Okay. So that's it done. So like uh, you know these two modules, if you extract, okay, that's it. You already like you know uh, got these things. Now you whatever you want is like you need to start your WebSocket. So all you have to say is like start underscore WebSocket and call in each and everything. So whatever you got, say event handler code update. So give this stuff. Okay, and uh, even you got this open callback. So, give it this as well and run in background should be in true. Okay. So, follow this structure and you are good to go. So, that is it done. We started the WebSocket. Now, whatever we are accessing the message, whatever we are subscribing, you should be like you know, uh, should be in a loop. So, we are subscribing and this is how we exactly print. So, exactly we will call, call this ticks via through you know infinite loop because you know WebSocket data are uh, like you know in a seconds will be like you know second update. So, what happens you need to be called instantly. So, we will follow this in infinitely loop and we will say as allies dot subscribe. We need to subscribe whatever we want. Okay. So, it is very much easy if you know this stuff. You have to call allies dot get underscore instrument by symbol and what you have to go give here you have to give your exchange and the trading symbol whichever you want to fetch okay so that's it done here and uh, one more thing is you have to say what type of live feed you want okay so there are four things are there which i will show you right now so live feed type so first of all main thing is we required this is one of the main uh, you know uh, compact as we say as a compact so this is this contains almost all each and everything whatever we required okay so if you say compact and uh, you know try to perform the operations which were required for your strategies formula each and everything and if you want to like uh, you know go for uh, your strategy so this will be the best so it contains uh, you know mainly we say required with uh, required trading symbol uh, we required uh, uh, timestamp we required ltp and the volume so this is compact which is live feed which exactly gives uh, you know the main thing whichever we required okay and we are keeping an instant loop so it will print for us so that's it done okay and if you run this stuff it will definitely if, if there is no error it will surely like uh, you know give you whatever the things is uh, available okay so as a web socket fit as you can see there is no error and we are ready to fetch so this is right now the web socket is running and we can see the ltp is is changing okay so in this case uh, you know this is this is how we gonna fetch so what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna paste this code into my website so you can just uh, you know check around 
and I'll give the format so like you know four things are there so I just set the compact now what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna call market data snapcode and full snapcode okay so this is you will understand so in this documentation they have been already talked about what are the things are available but I don't see this is the structure in to integer as a 32 and all but that's okay I mean you are mainly mainly what happens you are uh, whatever prices are there especially in a, in a bit it's a it's an a float value okay so it should be in a double like you know it contains a decimal uh, integer so mainly it will be spaces will be there so if you store and fetch it will be the same so whenever you trying to append c to that you everything is perfect so at, at least you get to know what type it is and the field okay so compact market data as i said it contains ltp and the timestamp okay and the volume and uh, yeah, trading will be will be there so i'll just uh, you know give the format so go uh, and check and do utilize whatever you want okay so almost all ltp will be the float value and value volume will be integer so just check around how your data format will be there just don't keep it integer everywhere okay so just see this so it will be very much helpful snap code is there for snap code is there so we'll try this for things so compact is done so all we need is compact okay so just to try as I suppose um, you know if you want um, you are uh, means ask and bid price I mainly say that you can go with the snap code okay so each and everything i just paste the json format so do check so right now uh, you know we will subscribe this and uh, you know we will go with um, as i said market data will be there so market underscore data so in this case what happens whatever structure you got contained here okay you can see this uh, everything in this uh, format itself okay and uh, you can do utilize so in here mainly there will be uh, whatever bid and ask prices are there are exactly only one so best bid price and best ask price so in this format what i have been they they have been done like uh, you know one or uh, one or two things they have been like you know uh, took it in a different uh, uh, fits okay so you need to check what is your requirement and according to that one you can go okay so sometimes uh, you know somewhere there is a you know there won't be like uh, you know timestamp will be available which is required so we really get to know when the when the prices has been updated so as you can see in full snap code there is no timestamp so you need to check which which things is is required for you and which you should go for it okay so do try uh, you can check around so as we did with the full snap codes as you can see this is the structure so which I will paste in my website so you can check so this is how it will go so you know if you check around so this uh, in um, market data so these are things will be available exchange code instrument token last trader price so this is how it will be there okay so this is how we go and open high low close will be there so UD data is there available in this case so if you want to extract you can extract okay only in this case uh, the ask uh, price and bid price are uh, not as uh, required only best and bid price is there okay so just do try and uh, i think we are done with the market data now we'll go with the snap code and full snap code okay so i think you understood so i'll just show you how you can do okay so this is the snap code okay so this is how we are uh, getting this data so as you can see ask price bid price are available here uh, in some like uh, you know in a decimal and specially like uh, you know required format as we see in our terminal okay at least five prices are there which you can utilize okay but mainly i say you can go with the ltp which is the compact data so it will be best and wherever you want to utilize this you can do so this is the uh, snap code so in this uh, you know timestamp is uh, is available okay which you can make utilize okay uh, and one more thing which i will go is like um, i'll go with the full snap code okay 
okay so as you can see we are doing best and uh, this is done here so this is how you will utilize only in this case timestamp is not available so do check around if you really require timestamp don't go for these things okay so whichever you feel comfortable please go for it okay and one more thing is just uh, suppose if you want to subscribe uh, uh, you know a number of symbols i think they have been like uh, strict on this two uh, at least 250 symbols so you can check around if it if they allows you can go for a number of symbols so first of all i subscribed with uh, uh, um, tata motors then i'll go with if i say m and m so let's see so at least i will get, i will get with uh, two symbols at a time you have to give a bracket a solid bracket then only it will check as this one okay so you should be in a list in a required list then only it will subscribe okay so as you can see tata motors then mahindra and mahindra okay m and m so this is how you just put the trading symbols and it will go smooth and if you really want like you know for options futures you can check one of my video like subscribing the symbols and all so you know just check the symbols whichever you want just push them here and it will be very much helpful okay so that's how you subscribe so if anything is required so suppose if you required uh, uh, as i said like you know i will go with the compact thing okay so from the format say so suppose if you required like you know i want to go with uh, ltp of tata motors and mahindra and mahindra so what i have to do is i tick off ltp so you need to fetch this required format so this is how it will be helpful so only it will print ltp for you okay and uh, so suppose whatever the data structure will be there so suppose if you want to like uh, you know print exchange so this will be best for you so exactly no need exchange because we are already giving exchange and all okay exchange and trading symbol so you know you can go this way and so suppose if you want volume you can go with this things So these are the volumes of Tata Motors, Mahindra and Mahindra. Okay. So this is the. I will definitely gonna paste this code into my website. Please do check around. And if you don't have an account, okay, please do have an account till 31st March. So it is. Uh, uh, they are offering free demat account. So please do utilize. Okay. And free of cost. And uh, API is free of cost. Uh, so you know if you follow my link, have, have an account. I can surely can help you help you to get an account as well as API, okay? And I can help in your settings uh, to get the access token, okay? In in this part, I will I I can surely can help if you have an account under my referral. So thanks for watching. Please do try this, and if you have any doubt regarding this video, please do comment below. If you have any other queries or requirements, please do contact me direct via WhatsApp. Thank you.